guys, it's Devin and I am back. I missed you guys so, so, so much. The last few weeks have just been a little crazy for me. I'm gonna have a life update video coming sometime this week, so I'll get more into that. But let's focus on this video because this is a very happy and positive video. Not that the other one is like super dark. I just, you know, this one, this one is just so happy and I'm so excited to tell you guys about my experience at Buffer Festival 2016. And so now instead of giving you guys a huge long review as to what I did at Buffer Festival, how it went, I am going to try a different style of review and if you guys like this style, let me know in the comments. I will use it for all the reviews I do from now on, whether it be book reviews, movie reviews, uh, trip reviews like this one. So this style of review is going to be the who, what, when, where, why, and how of Buffer Festival 2016. Before I start, if you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Uh, and give this video a big thumbs up if you attended Buffer Festival, because that would be super cool if you attended Buffer Festival and we could talk about it. What panels you saw, what panels I saw, it would be fun. So without further ado, I give you the who, what, when, where, why, and how of Buffer Festival 2016. So first is the what. What is Buffer Festival? Buffer Festival is a film festival for YouTubers and it has red carpets and different panels and spotlight screenings. It's an absolute amazing place for both guests and attendees to meet new people you know, the guests, the creators, the YouTube creators can meet other creators and kind of pick their brain and see their style of video and they can also gain a new audience and meet more people and it's also a great way for attendees like me who just bought their tickets to go and find some new YouTubers to watch and meet some awesome people with the same interests as you. It's a very interactive festival, it's very intimate, you get to be really up close and personal with some of your favorite YouTubers, you get to have actual conversations with them versus just seeing them from afar and possibly waiting and screaming I love you! You actually get to have conversations and it's so much fun but the basic concept is it's kind of like Toronto International Film Festival for YouTube and it was super fun. The second question we're going to answer is why? Why did I go to Buffer Festival? Well, let me tell you. In my Q&A video, I mentioned the Tin Can Brothers and how they are one of my favorite YouTube channels. And they put out a video in August, I believe, talking about their new Kickstarter for a short film called Flop Stoppers. And this short film, if it got funded, was going to be premiered at Buffer Festival, which is how I found out about Buffer. And why I wanted to go because I donate to, donated to their Kickstarter because I donated to their Kickstarter so I obviously wanted to go to Toronto which is within driving distance for me and see the film on the big screen with them right there. So that is the primary reason why I went but once I started looking more into what Buffer Festival is I realized there were some other awesome people going like Brizzy Voices, John Cozart, Mary Kate Wilde, Chef Rack to Comedy, people like that. Question number three is where did this happen? This happened in beautiful Toronto, Canada. It happened in the Metro Toronto Convention Center and the St. Lawrence Center for the Arts which is on the same street in Toronto. Question number four is when? When was Buffer Festival? Buffer Festival was from October 21st to the 23rd so I went from the 21st to the 23rd. Question number five, who did you meet? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want to know who I met because I'm going on and on about the, all these awesome YouTubers. So the people I went to see at Buffer Festival, I met I met Brizzy Voices, I met Mary Kate Wiles, I met Shipwrecked Comedy, which is like Sean and Sinead Perso and Sergey's Heart, and um, I met John Coe's Heart. I obviously met the Tin Can Brothers. I met the Tin Can Brothers like three times while I was there. Mary Kate Wiles, who I already mentioned, I met twice. John Cozart I met twice. Shipwrecked I met twice. I met awesome YouTubers like Bertie Gilbert, Swoozy, Adrian Bliss, Mick Patera, Mike Falzone, and just really cool people like that. And finally the sixth and probably most important question is the how. How did I like it? How did I find Buffer Festival? I loved it so much. I feel like even though I went for all three days I did not experience as much as 
I wanted to, I didn't experience everything just because I didn't have time. Only actual panels or like events that I bought tickets for were the comedy screening, which is where Flop Stoppers was premiering, and the award show on the Friday night, but I also attended um, the spotlight screenings for Sawyer Hartman and Bertie Gilbert, and I attended the red carpet on Friday night, and I went to a concert on Saturday, which was a lot of fun. Um, I think this trip came at a really good time. I was feeling kind of down about YouTube and just kind of stressed about it, and this film festival inspired me to not only put out content more consistently and regularly on my channel, but to make you guys better content and just to better my channel in general. This festival definitely gave me the spark I needed to want to YouTube again, if that makes sense, and it's definitely something that I would do again. It's 100% a festival I would recommend to people. Just be warned, it gets fairly cold and you are outside quite a lot because everything is within walking distance. But it was so awesome. Everybody's content was on point. It was so phenomenal. So that is it. That is my quick review of Buffer Festival 2016. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or tweet me at the Shelfie on Twitter or just leave a comment on one of my Instagram photos at the Shelfie as well. So definitely follow me there because I love interacting with people on Twitter and Instagram. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because we are having a party over on this channel. And other than that, just be on the lookout for my next video. That's all for me and my Shelfie.